Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Treos in the Sky, second chapter. I am the RNG Ingenious, but you may call me Eric. And in the last episode, we um, got the pumps in Elmo uh, Village working again. Thus, being able to take a soak. It took quite a long time, too. Um, this is a new recording session. And um, I already had actually a live stream today for four hours. But I still can go, I, I can still go on, and we're gonna um, continue playing Trails in the Sky. I've talked to you, little girl. Um, we did that quest, but the cent in the central factory, Kilika... Oh, look at that! Mm, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. It's just not working because of the horrible shutdown phenomenon. Hate to say it to Bruno, but he's just gotta have to give up. Oh. It's that it's great that we all managed to get the freight vehicle off the side of the, uh, to the side of the road, but like I thought there's nothing wrong with it. What a pain. I've got deliveries to do now too. Where is uh, Wong? He's slacking off? No, he's not. Of course he's not. I wonder where he is. I wonder when that um advanced Oh well, probably after those hot springs, huh? Apparently some of the army's patrol ships have crashed. I w it was a bit of luck that the factory ship didn't end, uh, end the same way. In that sense, we're still uh, well off, I'd say. Hey, welcome. Want, to s want, want something cool to drink? From what I hear, the Orbman's charging stations aren't working. That's exactly the time for a drink. Drink one down in a go, easy as pie, energy restoration. Azalea kiss. Yeah. No thanks. Ah, welcome. Would you like some flowers? No matter how frustrated you let yourself get, that won't make things better. That's exactly the time I hope people will stop and look at the flowers. Flowers can be quite calming, you know. Nope. Hmm. Did you just say I should water myself? No matter how frustrated you let yourself get, that won't make things better. In that case, enjoy some flowers and feel the calm wash over you. Ah. Thought they were insulting me. I would have been mad about that. <clears throat> Sorry, but I'm afraid our factory is currently closed for business. None of the equipment we use for machine um, um, machining is working. Oh, right, of course. Don't worry, though. I think we have a little something to help with that. Uh huh. what's that? Um, you see? Joshua explained that by using the field, the zero field generator, the factory's functionality could be temporarily restored. Oh, so it's a generator that Prof Professor Russell made. I'd love to give it a spin. Can I try it out? Sure, no problem. Um, would you help me then, Eric? <laughs> I'm not much of an assistant compared to you, so go easy on me. On activation, the zero field generator restored part of the central factory's tools. Yep, looks like we're back at business for the moment anyway. Considering the base theory, this is only a temporary fix, huh? Yeah, it won't last long. It'll go back to how it was before soon. Gotcha. Anyway, let's get our uh, yeah, let's get your stuff tuned now while we still can. I feel like I'm gonna keep Zane with me for a while. Tita. Um, after I give the next zero field generator away, I am. I, I have to either make Estelle into a melee character again, or t give Tita. Well, all the means to cast heal arts. If we use that method, you should be able to use the factory like normal, since you've got the professor's invitation. Invention, use it as best you can. I'm not so sure, the professor might be working on a couple, of, a couple more zero field generators. We still don't know. Oh, you all! Were you able to fix the hot springs pump? Yes, somehow. 
Yep, feel free to visit them anytime you like now. Oh, that's good news. I'll definitely take a trip over once my work's calmed down. Please do, you have to remember to relax sometime. Yeah, absolutely. Every machine needs maintenance after all. Haha, <laughs> thank you for your kind warning. I'll be sure to remember it. You, you don't... I was expecting you had work for me. There's not gonna be any work. That's a nice box there on its table, though. Ah, this is just the worst. I've got to collect documents from the fifth floor. Oh, I hate stairs. Why? Why do you hate stairs? You don't happen to have anything good? No, of course not. From the fifth floor, they said. I probably can't do much about it because you didn't officially give me an, well, a quest. But apart from that, maybe there's someone else I can help out here. There should be. Mm, ah, bracers. Hey, long time no see. Glad to see you're well. You too, Carl. Sure seems like things are pretty rough around here. Yeah, everything from the lights to the experiment e equipment is dead. By the way, what happened to that gunner? You mean Oliver? He went back to his home country. Home country? So Oliver, was he... Yes, he was from another nation. Oh, that's so. Mm, what a shame. I would have loved to have him take a look at the new model gun. Of course, I'm, it, I, I know it now, now that's now not the time for that. If this phenomenon continues as it is, my research is going to need to be completely redone. <laughs> well... Carl! Seems like the situation really is pushing him to the edge. Oh, you're not gonna be seeing Oliver any, again anytime soon. Next time you meet him, you're not gonna be happy about it. But he'd still like that gun. Oh, you look like you have something. As engineers are working on a response to, record, to the current phenomenon, the more I think about it, the more I understand just how unique this phenomenon is. For now, we're still our, we're still a floored, uh, sort of floored by it all, just happening at all. There's no plan in sight at the moment. Hmm, an orbital shutdown phenomenon, huh? I'm pretty bad on the, the theory side. I might just be in everyone's way here. Hmm. No matter how many times I think about it, I just can't come up with an any with any explanation. That object floating in the sky and the shutdown phenomenon. There should be something connecting them, but I just don't know what that something is. Ray was dragged off into the, some other research, so I'm stuck managing the greenhouse. But with the orbits not working, the temperature in the greenhouse keeps dro dropping. Anyway, I hope Ray, Ray comes back. You don't happen to have anything new lying around, no? Clinic. Oh, bracers! And Tita, too! Hi, Dr. Miriam! <laughs> it's been a while. I'm glad to see you all look well. You too, Dr. Miriam. Well, I mean, aside from all the craziness going on right now anyway, I imagine work's pretty tough. Yes, for now I'm checking over our stocks of medicinal supplies. We'll be in deep trouble if we don't have me medicine when it's needed. Yeah. At the moment it's not exactly easy to restock the with, trans with transportation so limited. Indeed, we'll just have to be very conservative in our use of the supplies we, have, we do have. So you all be careful too. If you get hurt really badly and dragged in here, I will give you an absolute earful. <laughs> we'll be careful. Well, let's get to the top of it, but... Kilika said there was something to be done in here, didn't she? Kapel won't have anything for me. It's not even there at the moment. The professor is out and I don't know where he went. I'm sure at this point he's all worked up and researching this phenomenon. Yeah, I'd better do my best too. 
I may not hold a candle to the professor, but there should still be plenty I can do. Perhaps the professor is involved in these weird events. Like, one of his experiments failed and now horrible power throughout the kingdom is gone. <laughs> no way, right? Even he of all people wouldn't do an experiment that dangerous. The fact that I can't say that for sure makes me makes it even scarier. No, nothing here. And at the top of it, there's people. Why were they? Why were there people? I wonder how something so big is floating. Maybe it's equipped with the same kind of horrible engine as an airship. Well, that's one idea, but it all seems impossible to be honest. After all, all orbits aren't working. I thought the end of the world was coming. It seems the true twilight is still a bit away though. Maybe I should go back to my workplace and get a par parasol. Too much sun gives m you wrinkles after all. If I'm going to be surrounded, uh, sum summoned to heaven, I'd like to go as beautiful as I am now. Wow. You do have your priorities, don't you? When that floating object appeared, the sky seemed like it shone gold for a moment. Speaking from a Zeptian perspective, gold represents space. Hmm, there may be a connection between the two. There just might be. Um, let's head to uh, the Bracer Guild branch, which is on the first floor, and out to the street, then talk to her again, and then... Well, the Central Factory is not having any more problems. I wonder where Wong is, uh, Wong is at, but I can't keep looking after every single Bracer I know. I received word from the Factory Chief. It sounds like you're rather busy. Did something come up? Ah, right. We should make a report. Yeah, so actually, I still explain the details of the, the of the pump repair Dale Elmo. Hmm, I see. Sounds like you've really been taking bracer work to he to heart. Yeah, I know it's kind of a small thing to worry about in an emergency like this, but I can't just abandon people in trouble. Yeah, that's the true mentality of a bracer. I believe it was the right decision. The second principle of a bracer guild code is prioritizing civil civilian safety. Your line of thinking, therefore, was correct. You can keep your head high when you say what you've, what you've accomplished. <laughs> Thanks. I feel a bit more confident, confident hearing that from you, Kilika. That ends our report. Well, th well then, I'll have your workers assessed immediately. When you're ready to be paid, give me a report again in full. So just come and report again to get paid? Yes, please. Let's do that. We got results for the, Bra the Elmo Hot Springs, 10,000 Mira and 8 PP. Good work, seems you've successfully accomplished your goals. If you complete any missions, come report, ba uh, come report them to me. Good work repairing the pump. Such cases are important for bracers to take on. Bracers must keep in mind that they are, are, they are the ally of the people. Hmm, that solves everything. I'm not entirely sure on what Wong is doing. That that might mean something, actually. I I don't want to walk around everywhere searching for him. I'm gonna talk to Factory Chief Murdoch again, and if he doesn't have anything interesting to say, I'm gonna head toward Ruin. Come on. Oh, you all! Were you able to fix the eye? Ah, yeah. Alrighty, that's gonna have to be it. Let's get to ruin. No more quests in size region. Would have been surprising. There is something up with Wong, I'm sure, but you know. At this point, I can only guess. Ah, oh, hi! The highway lights are out, so traveling on any road is dangerous these days. I suspect that passage, passage through the Chaldea tunnels is especially bad. But that's also the only way to get to ruin. Man, I hope I don't get an escort drop in that direction. You're right in hoping that. I'm gonna talk to you again. That door's tightly closed. Well, 
We have no idea when the basement factory will be back and up and running. It's a highly automated workshop, so there's not much we can do if the apartments aren't running. Well, let's head toward Ruin. Um, you're gonna equip that... Um, come on, where is it? My night goggles. No, moon glasses? Night goggles, right there. I haven't seen um, Joshua Stregas in action yet. Those are madness, though. If you don't remember, I equipped them with shoes that have plus 10 movement on them. Okay, I planned that like that. And I'm not, I, I'm serious, plus 10 movement. So let's get to, through the Caldea Tunnel without jumping this time. Would be nice, right? I mean, Ruin, we... We're probably... It's been 15 minutes. Yeah, we're probably gonna check out that Saffron Tower, shall, uh, won't we? And also... Um, no, I'm not gonna head to Limestone Cave. And, and not only uh, we're gonna check out the Saffron Tower, but we're also gonna talk to everybody at um, Air Letten. Because that's how I do things. That's how an Eric do. Doom, do, do, doom, ba, doom, boom. Not getting in, into any fights is really just a gamble at this point. Preemptive strike, you are blind, let us not. Do, 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 that guy conveniently dodged out of the way of my train wreck. Oh, that guy didn't. Let's actually see. Move. Okay. La 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 la. That was interesting. That was interesting. So I can move over the entire screen. That well, that's the black fang for you. It's not because of his boots, it's because he's the Black Fang. That is incredible. Well, we'll see how useful exactly that is going to be in battle. But his reach is not going to be any trouble anymore, so he's a perfect melee character now. It's pitch black in there right now, I'd be terrified. Brrr. Think about it, a monster could leap at you at any moment and you'd be none the wiser. Ma wiser. I'd be freaking out every step of the way. You're a scaredy cat, though, sir. The gate won't close, so we're having to be we we are having to be stricter with our checks on travelers. We've received orders to ensure bracers pass freely, though, so don't worry. Apparently, it's a special measure to assist guild activities. It's pretty surprising that kind of order would would have been unthinkable not that long ago. Um, equipment on Joshua. You're gonna trade away those night goggles for. Gladiator headband, even though I'm not happy about it. That guy who came from the guild is really helping out with the patrols. After all, we ain't got any idea of um, what could happen given this situation. Even though our communica communicators are back up, we still lack information. Anyway, at the moment I'm acting to prioritize enhancing the guard post security. After all, we're still in the situation where we can't shut the gate. The lights in the Caldea Tunnel are out and currently it's completely pitch black. Stepping in carelessly could cost you your life. Be extremely careful. He didn't mean to do that. Hey, welcome. It seems like the, the Orbman charging stations aren't working either. If you're tired, you should go rest at, the, at a lodge. Don't push yourself. Well, it still has almost virtually, uh, has virtually no mana left, but that's okay. To think orbital devices would just stop like that. We're not that bad off here, but I'm sure size is in an uproar. After all, that city's practically built on orbital devices. Eee, that didn't end well, that's true. I'm gonna uh, take a sip of my ice cold water right now because it's extremely warm. Alright. Sorry to keep you waiting. We're gonna head toward I th what's, what I think is going to be Saffron Tower now. 
If I don't happen to find a, a ridiculously strong um, monster on the sidewalk, which I hopefully won't. But given the uh, given the fact that I already went through here once, it's unlikely. We're just gonna have to fight another pair of snails. And ostriches. Well, the ostriches I'm not really gonna fight, I'm just gonna look at them and think they're, they look kinda cute. But apart from that, actually ostriches look kinda dumb. <clears throat> that might just be me. And I'm a mean man. I am that. You're still here. You're still here as well. Oh, hi. You are? Roadrunners, yes. Um, and then we have Ebony Scale. An enormous aerial monster fires blinding lightning strikes. Can call its allies. It's resisting against water. It's weak against earth. It drops a freeze too. Has 14,000 HP. The Roadrunners are not going to be the problem here. But I think this is not going to be nice. Uh, fourth is the maximum of people I can hit. No death blow there. You can cast arts and you're just going to ca go ahead and... Um, actually, you don't have... No, you don't. Um, boom, 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 boom. They're resisting against wind? Yes, they are. Well then, uh, White Johanna won't hit every button. That's not worth, is it? Death Stream, even though her mana is going to be running in, out in a second. You attack this guy. Oh, resist the petrification, I believe. And you attack... Well, I've got no choice but to attack this guy in the back. He's got 200 um, CP, and that's not going to change anytime soon, is it? Evil Eye. You can only use that in a certain range. Gonna actually use that. If the attack delay works, it's gonna be great. It works. It works. Dun, 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 dun. Stop kicking me. Demonic talons. I use Death Scream once more. That's the last time I'm gonna be able to use that skill. That's gonna finish off the Roadrunners, though, which was the um, thing I was aiming for. Zane, you actually look into that Thunder God kick. Hit two at the same time. Two is worth, I think. Let's see how many CPU you gain back for this. Well, you, you spend 35 CP to gain 27 back, or 28. No, 27. Pretty decent. That is pretty decent. Let's try to utilize a smoke cannon here. Okay, fine. With uh, Joshua, I'm going to use Evil Eye again because apparently he uses his 40. He has 40 CP for that and gains them immediately back again. Well, not quite. I don't know how he got up to 200. Ah, he got kicked once, yeah. That is correct. My cheapest, uh, cheapest AoE is Aerial, but that will do virtually no damage. Hellgate is also not very expensive, but it won't hit. Um, that's... Unfortunate. You don't really have an uh, area of effect, do you? Um, I should have slept in that bed. I should have. Let's use White Johanna. Make this happen. They're gonna take their damage, and after that, I'm probably gonna use an EP charge on it still. Or I'm gonna go back to rest. Do 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 you move over here. I don't know if you can d n knock them back, but if you can, it's going to be useful if you do this. You hit all of them, please. 
So, do you have knockback against them? Yes, you do! Which means now a Thunder God kick will actually come to solve a certain purpose. You use Evil Eye again, that knocks them back and I think... Well, with Zane, with Zane having the critical run, this fight is over. That fight is over. I'm gonna use use another uh, Thunder God kick because it's so funny. It's actually one of my favorite techniques now. The AOE sucks, uh, like the medium AOE, the, the range sucks, but look at this. Three enemies, this is gonna be nine attacks and the critical round, it's gonna be good. Yeah, that was 6,000 da damage to every single one of them. Level up, freeze two. All right. Let's terminate that monster. We're gonna head back to um, Air Latin right now because I wanna sleep. I don't wanna waste Sneepy Charge, man. If I can just spend, uh, spend like 200 Mira, that's, that's fine. That's so many EP too. I wanna be able to use Death Scream again. Thus, I'm just gonna run back. I have the time, you might not, but I have it. If I don't play like I wanna play, I'm gonna get unhappy. So I play like I want to play. Let's sleep a little bit. That's the wrong room. I need sleep now. I need sleep, sleep, sleep badly. 200 Mira. Cutthroat. All right, we have full mana again. It's already been 27 minutes. Am I still gonna um, explore several tower? Yeah. I already uh, made this this um, episode artificially uh, longer by walking back to Erlitten and sleeping. Might as well just get the final part in. Saffron Tower. Let's head to the top of it, shall we? I don't remember the path inside of Saffron Tower. But we'll see what it is. Oh, and there was some... Uh, was a fishing spot at the very top of it. That was a thing. Ew, you. That's way up. That's way up. That's a way up. That's a chest. That's bad. Okay, uh, that's way down. That's a way through the middle. That's a fight. Um, hi. What do you drop? No thanks. Didn't need that anyways. Oh, come on. Way up. This place is abysmal. Way down. This way. This has got to lead to the top, right? Fifth floor, that's that chest. Come on now. I got lost. I got lost. Uh oh, god darn it. That's where I came up from. This leads up to one chest. This leads down to hopefully reach to go up again. We've got unicorns. Oh god. No, that's not unicorns, that's, what are you called? Seahorses, exactly. We fled from the ferocious looking seahorses and um, we're not going to be able to do anything here, are we? If you go down here, where do you get? Another chest. Okay, by now I've gotten confused. This worked much better in the past. Didn't it? 
That's way down. That's the way. I need to get over there. From the staircase, two sets to the left. Three sets. I'm not gonna get there from here. Two sets. Three. Four. Five, four, three, two, one. So theoretically, it would be this one, which is it says uh, this uh, is one of the this has um, seven other staircases, doesn't it? So we're on the one. Um, we're at seven right now. Oh God! I turned around one too many times, didn't I? This looks exactly like where I came from. Because it is exactly where I came from. So never mind that. Let's try this way up. Hug the right would have worked perfectly fine. Wouldn't it have? Maybe not perfectly, but, but better than this. Are you? Am I able? Yeah, I'm gonna be fishing here a bit. Because I, I did not utilize this fishing spot very well, did I? And as long as I have a couple a couple of um, things to throw in here, I might as well try if I catch a new fish. And this is an odd fishing spot, isn't it? Doesn't seem like anything is biting the air. Nothing biting the ear. Hmm. You only take a uh, polycaete, don't you? And earthworms. Crab. I mean, curb. So I can fish here with a curb as well, probably. curb what do you give me octopus was kind of expecting that Another octopus, clear gelatin. River bug is, I know I already tried that, I don't need to do this. I don't need to try it with those other fish. That's going down. That's going up to the roof. Hi there, snail. What are you dropping? Something that's nice? So, Mind Orb. Okay, that looks like Arts Increase. Mind Orb. Gummy Eyeball, Gummy Eyeball, Gummy Eyeball, Gummy Eyeball. That's gonna be nice. You, uh... Got the Zepeth round? No, oh, let's make this look good. <laughs> oh, you evil little girl. <laughs> I do think those snails are resisting against death blow by now. So if you were to use one of those thunder god kicks of yours, you could hit all three. In the Zepeth round, nonetheless. Does this count for three hits in the Zepeth round? I wonder. 
I wonder. And uh, you're just gonna use your evil eye again, because that's the best AoE you have with the tag delay on top of it. Pretty good. And after that, you can use. Well, this fight is already won, isn't it? Hellgate. Critical round, nonetheless. Give me that mind orb of yours. I know you want to give it to me. I would have rather liked to have the critical round with the true god, thunder god kick. Oh my dirty gum rubs. You do nothing. You please do nothing. Kilika, you get the finishing blow this time. You did all the work with the little ones. Bloop, bloop, bloop. That should give me a ton of Zepeth, actually. Because there were so many Zepeth rounds here. Level up, too. Yeah, that's a lot. Considering it was just a normal fight. Mind Orb and Gummy Eyeball. What does the Mind Orb do? Well, I don't really have to check up on it, do I? Um, Grey Locket, I'm not gonna try trade that out, even for plus 50 arts. But that's gonna be something that Chloe will be interested in. Mythical Jewel, that raises speed, mobility, and arts power. I wonder, I'm probably gonna equip that, plus the buzzer on Chloe next time I get her. It's gonna increase her magic even more. Oh, she's gonna be a powerhouse. I hope I can get play as Chloe again uh, in the future. I'm not quite sure on that yet. It's not like I know. Doom, 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 doom. A lot of empty chests are laughing at me there. That's the way up, that's the way down. Over here's the way out. Ooh, that was quite something, wasn't it? That was quite something. Alrighty. Uh, oh. Um, let's actually head toward Ruin. And once we've gotten to the city, we'll end this episode there. already beaten one monster and that one was a pushover but the next one might not be so easy the next man my uh, monster might just well be an actual monster again like the those eight worms I still I cannot fathom like I would I I really respect the person who can beat that fight on hard mode or nightmare mode oh well Never gonna meet that person in my life. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until next time, bye-bye.